It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Welcome back to a new video everybody. This is episode 2 of a solo series where I am living on my very own island. Yes, that is right. I've got my own patch of land. It's literally the size of one grid. It's a really tiny island. And in the last video, we were able to build a base on there and take it over. Now, right here, you've just witnessed my demise. Unfortunately, I was killed. Didn't expect it, because I traveled all the way to the snow with my ice pick and farmed loads of sulfur. But unfortunately, there is a clan that loves to use their helicopter to patrol the seas. Now, a lot of the time, they are actually going to oil rig. But as you'll see today, these guys just love their helicopters and they love to fly them absolutely everywhere around the sea. So farming on the sea is very tricky. But don't worry, because we're going to teach these guys a very good lesson today. Let's jump into the video. Hope you enjoy. Ah, uh, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to episode two of my solo series. So there's my island over there. These guys live on the coastline quite close to where I live and they are my allies. These are a Russian clan. I allianced with them on the first day of the wipe. Not None of them are online at the moment because it is the morning time, but it is only the second day of the wipe, so they'll be online very soon, I imagine. But yes, I'm allied with these guys, and that is why you can see that I'm in a team in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. A few new bases in the area. This is one of them. Check this out. We've got a full metal one that's appeared over here as well. Check this out. Garage door right there. All potential raid targets for me. Right then, let's get loads of wood, and then get those furnaces on. <laughs> What is this, guys? Right? This is electric, right? And I can hear something inside here. It sounds like something's being powered or something. So it's a little river base, but they've got loads of electric in there. It might be worth checking out. But I think that that base is owned by this clan. They've got electric running all through here. In fact, the electric goes from that river all the way down to there... And then I'm pretty sure it goes into there as well, into their freaking compound. Look how many solar panels they've got. They've got a turret right there. I mean, they don't have the biggest base in the world, these guys. A few auto turrets inside their compound. And then they've got this bit, which is a little bit confusing because it's all electric and it goes all the way up to their river base, which I don't know why, but I guess we'll have to find out. Back at the island right now. Also, after we've done all the raiding that we're going to do today, we're going to upgrade this base because it's still pretty small. It is very secure, though, because on the inside of upgrade, a lot of it to armor. I've got loads of garage doors. So I'm not worried really about being raided. Uh, however, I want to electrify my base. I've got some solar panels in the base right now. And I've also got some batteries and all the switches and all that sort of stuff I need to electrify this base. So, yeah, this is what the base looks like if you've not watched the series. I've got a little boat bit there, which I store my kayak in. I don't have a proper boat yet. I've only got a kayak, but a kayak does the job. It's not letting me down this wipe. In fact, I got a few kills on the seas with the kayak. Nobody expects you because they can't hear it. So, managed to get a few kills with it, which is nice. But anyway, come through the base. Let's get those furnaces on. There's my electrical uh, bits and bobs um, and battery, which I found. And I've got the solar panel in this box right here. All the furnaces are on. All five furnaces. Okay, right. I just realized I don't have any low grade, so I'm going to take all my crude oil. Um, where are you, mate? I've got 149 right there. I'm going to go and smelt that and turn it into low grade. Let's go to the outpost. We made it into the safe zone. 7,000 wood that I just bought. Obviously, I can buy more. Sometimes it stacks and sometimes it doesn't. All right, there we go. That's enough wood, I think. Uh, having said that, we'll probably go through that very quickly. You burn, you go through wood so quickly on this game. Let's get this on, put our crude oil inside, and then just wait for this to do its thing. Oh, 
Right, I've got all the low grade, 447, and loads of wood. Oh, one of the clan guys is online, one of the Russians. Yeah, I guess if we need backup or anything, maybe we can ask him to help us. Might see if he wants to do a joint raid, actually. If I provide half of the raid stuff and he provides half of the raid stuff, we might be able to do a bigger raid today. Player, geared there. Killed him. I'm not going to be able to loot him, though. I don't have any ladders on me. Oh, never mind. I think I can jump up. Yes, I can. We had nothing worth taking, really. Somebody would have heard those shots, though. So that's why I'm immediately running away. Screw it. The amount of clans that freaking live around here. No, thank you. Including those guys who are massive. There's my island over there. Gonna start swimming in just a sec. Okay, let's start swimming. And we made it back. Very good. Crafting loads of gunpowder now. Before I do the satchel raid, though, I'm gonna go and have a look at which base I wanna raid, because I don't even know yet. I've got a rough idea. I know there's a few bases, so let's go have a look at different bases to raid. I got my kayak. Let's place my kayak down right there. Let's go look for a base to raid. Just getting morning time now. It's perfect. Open that door. Paddle our way out. <laughs> the base over here. This is where I died. He might actually be online right now since he killed me yesterday. He's upgraded his base a little bit though, I think since I last uh, saw it. It's going to be a bit harder to raid, I think. Just a solo guy. Base right next to him there. I might need more satchels, I think. He might have a loot room up there or something. I don't exactly know what he's doing with this base. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Hello? Am I being baited? Is this some kind of trap? I think it was a Tommy. This part of the base is decaying. What about this? Oh! A lot of the base is decaying. The whole bit, apart from this bit. Oh, because that's not attached. You see that? That's not attached. So this is his base, but it's not attached to that. Slight separation there. Okay, that's very good for us. Okay. We're going to have to come back to this base. We're probably not going to be able to raid it right now. We need, we're need we going to need more sulfur to do a raid on him. Now, while traveling back to base, I came up with a pretty cool idea. Now, I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but my allied neighbors are a Russian clan, and one of their members was online. So I decided to ask him if he wanted to do a joint raid with me and help me raid this base right here. He's here. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello. Okay. So, um... Hello. Hello. Uh... Where where are you uh, want raid? Okay. Where, uh, where house? There, there, uh, D17. D or D? In the chat, there is okay. a there is a base and the player inside is geared. He killed me yesterday, but he does not have a big base. I have 10 satchels. And so if you can bring something as well, we can get inside and see what he's got. Okay, uh, I have one C4 and uh, uh, now I go home and look uh, another uh, explo explosive and such else. Yes. I look at home now. Okay, okay. Awesome. I'm going to do a raid with my freaking neighbor. Uh, hello, my friend. It's I, me, my friend. Uh, I join your Discord. Uh, server. Okay, I have one, one C4, one uh, bomb grenade, and uh, 120 uh, explosive bullet. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, we we will go at morning time. I have ladders and I have a flamethrower. All right, um, let's go, mate. Okay, um, you you want uh, me me to drive? Paddle. Oh, oh paddle. we both we both paddle. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Raiders. Bro, we are pros. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we raid. Let's do this. Oh my god, this goes really fast with two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, faster uh, than uh, little board. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, little, but faster. Yes, and it doesn't make any noise. There's no sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So perfect. I think we should go down here. 
down here, okay? Um, you can explosive ammo. I will boost you. Oh, no. Yes, 200 IQ. <laughs> go ahead. We go explode ammo in this bit right here or this bit, okay? And we take out these two. Okay. I think that is the best idea. I cover you from the rocks. Okay, tell me when I can start. Yes, you can start now. Helicopter, hide. Stop, stop, stop. They flew away. Just wait. Uh, you think it's fly away? Yes, I think we're good, mate. We're good to go. Okay, okay, our uh, window. Now, after blowing through the top of this base, we discovered that we're gonna need a lot more to raid this guy because we're gonna need to get through one metal ceiling. We suspect that his main loot room is through one more metal ceiling, and so we're gonna need a lot more. So my Russian friend here came up with a brilliant idea. Now, I actually offered to farm some more so we could finish this raid. But instead, the Russian said that he would go back to base, grab more gunpowder, and craft some rockets to finish the raid. So I decided to give him all of the 10 satchels which I had, since that's all I could contribute to this raid at this point in time. Because I'm just a solo player, I don't have a lot of gunpowder in my base. And I can't craft rockets and things like that. So in other words, the Russian is taking over this raid. He's going to get most, if not all, of the profit we make from it in terms of the gunpowder and things like that. So that is the deal. I decided to go ahead with it. You have only 10 satchels. Yes, no, I only have 10. Um... I have another idea. Yes. Uh, now I go with my take uh, gunpowder craft eight rockets and we go here and boom 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 okay take this then for you okay, okay. yes it sounds good uh chip uh, it's my teammate cola ah cola это наш тиммейт чип привет привет hello uh heli 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 oh shit, shit. Go, go to the go to the mainland go to the mainland Oh, sh we're dead. Oh, you've got a diving tank? Yep. Oh my god, you genius. Get out, get get diving, mate. Yes, I and, and I gave you the satchels. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, the, these guys patrol the sea, man. Yeah. What are the chances of that, guys? Our Russian friend had a diving tank with him, and as soon as we started getting shot, he was gone under the ocean and survived with the satchels that I'd just given him. Awesome. This guy comes prepared. A lot more prepared than I usually am on my raids, that's for sure. Anyway, one of his friends came online from the clan, and so there's now three of us. He crafted the rockets and then came and picked me up in a helicopter, and we went and finished this raid. I just hope that the TC is there. Level three workbench inside there. Uh, we need crash this. Yes, and then go down. Okay, okay. Red key card. So you're going to take those? I think here. Yes, yes, yes. Rocket here. Yeah. Okay. Begin. Begin. Nice TC, my friend. Yes, TC down there. Опа, бежит. Улетай, Кола, улетай. А, ради, ради, ради. Oh, look, mate. Um, I'll wait. Oh, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Меня убили. Go quick, go. Да, пришли, уходи, уходи, уходи. So there's three of us raiding, two of us in the base right now. One person was stood on the hill covering us. Two guys, fully geared, with AKs, came on a helicopter and tried to counter our raid. They managed to kill the one guy that was covering us from the hill. But me and my friend here managed to secure this base really quickly and put a stone ceiling down so they couldn't get inside. Now, there's a massive clan base, which I've shown you at the start of the video, very close to where we're doing this raid. So I have no doubt in my mind that these guys live there. So we decided to quickly patch up this base, as you can see, and now we're safe inside. The plan is to wait for now. 
We're going to patch up this base and we're going to pickaxe out of the base later on once everything is safe. But for now, we're going to get all this loot organized and transported into the main part of the base. And we're going to put doors down to make sure that the guys outside don't try to raid inside to get the loot. There's quite a bit of gunpowder in here, so it is a decent raid. Crafting code lock. Опа, серо порох. Хорош. Yes, yes, it's good, it's good, it's good. Here, um, <laughs> take... Dude, dude, I, uh, look at this, look at this, look at this box. Yes, top box, yes, the top one, this one, yes, nice. Keep the, uh, keep the tools, okay? We will need to pick, we will need to pickaxe out. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so tools keep in these boxes here. Okay, I have idea i have idea so uh to get out we we go through there yes okay upgrade this to metal uh yes we okay. pick we pickaxe out through there okay nice. uh now uh we uh don't we don't crash anything and don't get out but after one hour two hour yes we yes. We uh, get out. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Where, me... where is your sleeping bag? Yes, I need to place it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so store your gear and stuff like that. And we come back later to get uh, out. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Very good, my friend. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I've left the Russian guy for a little bit. Um, we're going to go back there as as we just basically discussed. We're going to go back there in an hour once they've stopped camping us. And we're going to pickaxe out through the stone wall, which is uh, behind the glass. There's the clan that probably came with the helicopter. And is like they're the ones that have basically been killing me all day today um, on the helicopters. They have a lot of helicopters. Oh, in fact, he spots me right now from his roof. Jeez, he spotted me from far as well. My goodness. I mean, they're not a clan I'd really want to mess with. They're pretty massive. One eternity later. So after an hour, we spawned back in our sleeping bags that we placed inside the base that we just raided an hour ago, and we started pickaxing out. Okay, uh, do you want the workbench, level 2 workbench, to recycle? Uh, it's broken. No, the uh, level 2, the, there's a level 2 that's level not. Two. No, no, okay. I, I have. Uh, you want the me you want the metal? No, take, take this okay, all. Okay. And the turrets as well, you want the turrets? No, no, take, okay. take this stuff, it's stuff all yours. No, 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 you, you, you take the rest of, the rest of the stuff, you don't want the rest, okay? Okay. So even though they took all of the gunpowder and high qual, they let me take certain good items like the auto turrets, for instance, which is going to help me out a lot in this series because I have a plan. And that plan is to place auto turrets around my island to stop people from going on it. I think it's a really cool idea. It's definitely one of my goals. So now we've got two auto turrets and hopefully we can collect more as the wipe progresses. Anyway, time for some revenge. We've died a lot today to this clan with their freaking helicopters. So the Russian had an amazing idea. He decided to craft some HV rockets, high velocity rockets. I think that's what he crafted. And we had a plan to destroy one of their large scrap helicopters. Now these cost 1,250 scrap at the bandit town. So if we can take this out, I will be freaking happy. Any little bit of revenge against these guys is good for me. So that is the plan. The Russian is trusting me with a rocket launcher and we're gonna fly around the clan compound and we're gonna try and take out that helicopter which they've got, the large scrap helicopter. Here we go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um. Nice. Oh my God, okay. We're going for it, boys. Okay, I'm ready. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> nice shoot, dude. That's what they get, bro. Hell yeah. Thanks a lot for watching today's video. Stay tuned. The next episode will be mostly solo. I know that I did team up with my uh, neighbors today, which uh, was cool. We did a raid together and we destroyed one of the large helis from this clan, which was definitely the highlight for me. If you've enjoyed today's video, drop it a like. There'll be another video tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. We actually gained 500 subscribers in one day uh, on Friday, which is amazing. So thank you so much to all the newcomers. And yes, I really appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.